Today at Caldecott School, students have been hearing from a variety of local entrepreneurial speakers who've been talking about their experiences in setting up businesses and contributing to our economy. My name's Tim Levin. Uh, I'm a professional writer. I write horror, fantasy, and uh, some science fiction novels and thrillers. I'm here at Caldecott School today to talk to the children and hopefully inspire some of them to make some of their hobbies into something that might end up being a career. It started as a hobby, writing always been my hobby, and now it's my career as well as my hobby, which is quite a nice, nice place to be. My name is uh, David Charles, I currently work for MCC. Um, I paint under the name of Phantom Punk. Um, I've been an artist now for the last sort of, four years. Today's been a real great opportunity to kind of pass on the knowledge that I've sort of gained from painting for so long um, over the last sort of four years. Um, it's been really interesting to present to children that are so young. So we've had year nines, which are uh, 13 to 14 year old uh, kids. You know, they're at the age now where they're about to take their options. So it's been really handy for, for me to be able to pass on the uh, knowledge that I have. I'm James Robinson, Managing Director of Advertising Agency Hello Starling. It's been a pleasure to be at Caldecott School today as part of Global Entrepreneurship Week 2017. 11 years ago I quit work to write full time. It's changed my life completely in that I'm, I'm now able to make a living out of my hobby, which is what I've always wanted to do. So I'm hoping that coming here and speaking to the children, hopefully it'll inspire at least one or two of them out of the group to, to think about their hobbies and, and that when they leave school, there's, they don't necessarily have to go the traditional uh, work route. They can work on their hobbies and, and produce, um, start their own business. Global Entrepreneurship Week is a great initiative because it really sort of uh, hammers home the positives about creating your own business and about developing like an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, and it challenges kids' concept of what employment perhaps could be. It's been a great opportunity for students to think about their own future and how they can contribute to the future of Monmouthshire by setting up a business and in particular turning a hobby, something they really enjoy, into a livelihood and an opportunity to create jobs for others. It's nice for them to be able to see that through doing something creative or experimental that they can actually uh, develop and build upon a career. Today we've just been doing like business ideas, what we want to do in the future and then we've just been presenting it. Yeah. So we've been coming up with our own ideas um, and um, apparently they're actually quite good so we might actually develop this. Um, it could be a quite a possible idea. There are quite a few good ideas that people came up with so yeah it was really good today. I've really enjoyed myself um, and I'd, I'd love to do it again if I could. It's been really inspiring to hear from the students about the stories they've heard from some of these entrepreneurs and the inspiration it gives to them and what they can think about in terms of their future and how they can go on to enjoy a really rewarding career in business. It's nice to sort of like learn about what people have been doing and sort of their stories of becoming an entrepreneur and having a business and making a living off what they love. I hope that the students have taken some valuable thoughts and lessons away from today and help them shape the future. Um, maybe they'll be tomorrow's next business leaders and um, it's definitely an event that I think is worth supporting. So uh, congratulations to everyone involved today and uh, good luck for the future. <laughs>